Are you doing interviews? What's going on here? Are you the spokes? She's the spokesmodel, yeah, for my show. B B B B. What? You're just like showing her stuff? Yeah, especially these kids. I don't know if I appreciate uh, another man showing his stuff to my wife. <laughs> What's going on here? No, I'm just talking about canvases and things. Now, did you actually paint that on this canvas? Yeah, yeah. No tracing. Sweet wow, no tracing. No tracing. I'm not tracing. No lightboxing. No tracing at all here. So now no, that you've actually no paint by put numbers. Paint on canvas that you are a, a card carrying member of the Artist Society. Well, you know, I was at the, I'm a member of the Society of Illustrators and a student of the Art Students League in New York and, uh, and a proud. Uh, attendee of the School of Visual Arts as well as the High School of Art Design where Neil Adams and, and, uh, and, uh, and um, Dick Giordano and many other great comic book illustrators attended high school at. So, you know, I love going to these halls and having been part of certain parts of history, you know. And yeah. being a New York artist, I appreciate, you know, the, 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 the art that comes out of it is like uh, John Singer Sargent, and there's like so many New York, uh, they call them Hudson School. The Hudson Valley School. Yeah, yeah. they're great painters. So. And there's a uh, N.C. Wyatt's up there, right? Yeah, and N.C.'s and more in Pennsylvania, uh, uh, but, uh, Philadelphia. But, uh, that's in the, the, that, uh, the cartoonists, I don't need that. Oh, that's the Art Society of Illustrators. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. They yes. have an N.C. Wyatt up yes, there, yeah. uh, Robin they, Hood. They have a Norman right? Rockwell on a, on a, on on a wagon. Coach. And Tom, coach. Tom Hanks offered them a million dollars. They turned it down. I go, no. no. This Norman Rockwell is the only one we have. Yeah. And, we're not and gonna... it's just some innocuous stagecoach scene, right? It's I think giant, the guy is... though. It's large. I know, it's big. It's bigger than life. But it was like a story illustration from the maybe late... Uh, late 30s, maybe? Yeah, easily in the earlier in the 30s. 30s, yeah, easily yeah. that sort of era, yeah. But that N.C. Wyatt uh, Robin Hood one is like probably my favorite. Oh, yeah, that's the N.C. Wyatt stuff, yeah. yeah. Now, those hang at the, at the Brandywine in Pennsylvania, and I go there like every five or ten years, and they the have... the Cartoonist uh, Society have Cooper that? No, 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 no. Where no. did I see that? You gotta go. Well, they're traveling shows. But their original shows, those stay permanently, and they move around occasionally, but those stay permanently at the Brandywine, which is somewhere near East Stroudsburg. I don't know if you guys have been to, to that no, part. No, no, yeah. And then course. I tend to go up to um, to upstate New York to see the Norman Rockwell Museum. Up in, uh, yeah, the Four Freedom Museum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I sat the there and Freedoms. cried yes. one day. I looked at these, I don't think I'll have a paint like this. These are giant. These are yeah. oh. They're right. wonderful. I said these are going to be godlike of it because eventually in the digital world, people are going to forget how to paint. And I go, you mean a man actually painted this? Like, yeah. you know what I now, mean? Now, do you know the history of that, those? That, that yeah, was there was an a war? Commercial job, yeah, though? Yeah, yeah. For, for, for uh, an insurance firm or something? Something uh, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it was a commercial well, job. It's that based he on did a them. speech by the president yes. uh, because he was trying to empower the nation about, like, Freedom of speech and freedom of fear, and freedom of wants. Like, let's become better than we yeah. are. You know, it's freedom it's really inspired. Yeah. The, but the most famous one is the 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 Thanksgiving. Oh, so, and that's oh, yeah, that yeah. But then it's the black. There's from the, wants. Yeah, but then it's the F. Yes, but then yes. it's the African girl who's being uh, led by the FBI and the tomato stains because the first blacker in Alabama that went to a white school. Right, so right. he's capturing like history. These are wonderful. And they're yeah. all up there. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, no, it's no, up Stockbridge. State. Stockbridge, Mass. Yeah, yes. Stockbridge. It's the first three exits after the New York uh, uh, Interstate, and you get on the Stockbridge. It's the furthest. More west. tricks there. Human GPS. Love it. Love these museums. And then I go to France. I go to Marseille d'Orsay, the La Louvre. Oh my God! The and then I go my up to, favorite oh, museum in art. All the Orientalist Why? paintings. Well, they but, got Aang, they got these giant headbands, like cutting people's heads off, and, like yeah. just beautiful works But what of I love art. about that is when you sit in the main auditorium and it's a converted train station and it's all natural yes. light. Yes. It's all, it's Pouring just, in. Yes. there's yes. no other museum in the world like it where you can see these things in uh, natural yes. light. Yes. Yes. And those those uh, statues, the Rodin statues in yes. that, that main yes. plaza yes. Uh, uh, um, auditorium. Yes. Just yes. the most, I sat there and would just sketch those when I was a kid it's funny, and I was in you're, Paris. You're, you're such an appreciate. You're not an artist, but you appreciate No, I was. Like, I was well, a photographer. Okay. I was oh, a visual so artist. Yeah, I was yeah. a commercial artist. Yeah, yeah. No, to hear 
from coming from somebody who doesn't paint. It's like, wow, that's amazing. Because to me, it's an obsession. My wife thinks, oh, you think you're thinking about it? Yes, I can't take it. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> my mother said, I first gave my check at 19 from Marvel. And she goes, wait, wait, they're paying you to draw? After all the pain in the ass, all the teachers, he doesn't do his homework, all he does is draw us his first grade. And he goes, thank you, Mom, you finally got it. I always wanted to be an artist. Yay. Finally. <laughs> so you and stopped taking like, lessons at 19? No, I, I, I drew from nude models and, 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 and painting classes stuff. with David LaFell and, and uh, Max Ginsburg. These are a lot of like traditional New York artists and I still talk to them and some have died and passed away and some have, are still here and longly I've talked to But that's to cool, you started in Marvel when you were guys. a kid. Yeah, but they think of me as a painter who went into comics and most people think of me as comic book guys trying to paint. I go, no, I came from like a traditional uh, academic uh, approach. And then I go, well, you know, I'm not known at 19. Let me do comics for a while. And then when I got enough money, let me get back to painting, you know. Working from life, no photographs, just like whatever I saw. Are you doing saw. any personal work, painting work? Well, this is my launch about a couple of months of just painting from whatever I see in front of me. But I knew that I had to start commercially. And then eventually it's going to be nudes and landscapes and whatever else. I like. If I come up with an image, I go, I got to paint this, you know. And there's certain things you want to paint as an artist, like the hanging of Christ. You want to do your own interpretation. Uh, I did that. You know, well, or the I kiss. I did that. Or yes. the kiss. It's always a famous theme, and Klimt came up with that. And so, or, or, or I don't know if you know. I actually hung out at the at the uh, Vienna Museum, the oh, see, the, the Vienna there. National Giant. Museum. It's so beautiful. And they have two artists there. So no, three. Klimt. They have Klimt. Egon Schiele and Bosch. See, I don't know. The Bosch. Bo no, I got the, the, two the out of three. Visions of Hell. That guy with all the those people crazy, yeah, weird, yeah. psychotic yeah. drawings. I think he lost the his damn mind. Babel. Yeah. Vision of Hell. Yeah, that's where you get those Robert. Ones. That's where you get Robert Crumb. And, and those, <laughs> those are, oh. those are the size of your wall in your house. See, I go to the Reichs when I go to Amsterdam. I stare at the Night Watch, and this thing's. Uh, but Look at this entire yeah. thing, and one man painting. Well, there's a uh, really it's cool story. Of, like, yeah. I'll never do this. There's so a really cool story about the Klimt masterpieces, oh, right? Oh, so. so, those were Austrian royalties. Yes. They were commissions. That again was commission work. That's how these guys made a yes, living. Yes. Now that he he painted well. those. He painted the, like the Duke and and uh, Duchess of uh, Vienna. Yes. Yes. Uh, nude. Yes. And they were like, wait a minute, we can't have that out there. <laughs> so they wow. made them. Hey, imagine doing no. Trump nude. That would yeah. be crazy. <laughs> no, but they made. I got him the go biggest dick in the world. The ever 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 fingers ever. <laughs> but they they made him go back in and cover that wow. with the gold leaf stuff. Wow. And that became his famous masterpiece, the right. kiss the with the gold leaf. They're yes. covered with a, a shroud of, of gold leaf uh, textures. And you that's, know, that's, that's what's so get famous get about 20K gold leaf, each each sheet costs you like uh, 20 to $30. You do the whole painting, like, yeah. just gold alone will cost you over that's several uh, thousand that's dollars. A, that's a great story to know. It's like uh, that they were not conceptualized originally like that. He had to redo them. He had to cover them up that's because amazing. they were so, commissions. That's interesting because Goya, <laughs> if you, he did a painting, but if you put light through it, they're all naked. But if you leave the light, then you can see them closed. So there's a certain way of lighting them. You actually see what's going on behind. So okay. it's uh, yeah. So nice. so Goya did that too way back in the Spanish, because they had you know the Spanish Inquisition. You weren't allowed to draw nudity. You know, it was yeah, a very strict Catholic, you know. Censorship you and, 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 uh, and standards uh, from the church, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. overzealous church standards. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Well, the so, thing is, they were overrun by Arabics and all other and and, 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 Sp and Spain wanted to have the clean, they wanted to clean out everybody and just go back to a Spanish rule. And back then, they kind of ruled the world back then, you know. Until the French had enough of it, then they came in there. And there was a big invasion. It was, it was lots of great history. <laughs> yeah. So let's get to let's get to something current. You're known as a ghostwriter guy. Yes. And you have a ghostwriter portrait yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. And you're asking 600 on it. Yes, yes, yes. And then you have a Black Panther on canvas, canvas acrylic on canvas. And so what what can we do well, on a couple pieces like I'm this? I'm asking uh, anywhere from 7 to 800 dollars for this, but I can do 5 and I can do 4 for you, for you, for you. For me? Oh. 
you know. But I want to, you know, I want favors and, in, in, you know, not in trade so much, but in discounts down the road. I mean, I'm willing to give them up and then get your nice, nice discount. You know. Yeah, once in a while. Oh, yeah. Then you're gonna hit that me don't up come for a Frazetta no, or a no, Kirby. No, no, no. Just you know, you know, one of the all-time legends. Just some niceties. Just some, you know. Because I'm gonna be in the industry forever. I've been. I started when I was 18. I'm 56 now, and I plan you're to live. 56? Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, you're older yeah. than me. Yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> No, I'm doing 100 pushes a day. Screw that. Well, in a couple of years, we're going to look very similar, uh, I think. I think I think you're the most head. Look at that chin. Look at that chin. That's why she married me. It was his chin. Uh, it is. That's what makes it crazy about Batman. Uh, you got a Ben Affleck chin, and there's nobody in Gotham who has a chin like that. They go, come on. There's only four guys with a chin like that. It's like, this guy, this guy, ben or you. Affleck, <laughs> Anthony Snyder, in that yeah. order. And there's some other guy who's like, you know. Kirk How Douglas, many guys in the chin like that? You know? Kirk Douglas and Dudley Do Right from yes. the cartoon. Yes. Yes. Oh, Gaston, the Gaston. How I love the Poisson. The Poisson, yes. <laughs> no one's got a chin like Gaston. <laughs> That's cool. Mark, it's a so pleasure so talking fun. to you. You're great. You. I always say you're full of personality, if not talent. Love my work. Love my. I never had a job in, in 50 something years. I, this is my career. My mother's always going, why don't you get a real job? I go, this is my life. <laughs> like this we were talking my about. Life now. <laughs> awesome. So that's Mark Texera, and we're be terrific. Boots, 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 boots.